In this video, we will take a look at the historian that is built into Fernhill SCADA. We start by connecting the configuration tool to her Fernhill SCADA server. In this case, we click the local host entry on the start page to connect to the SCADA server running on the local computer. Then we create a work folder by right clicking on the root folder, selecting add new folder, then enter historian and press return. The next step is to create a randomly generated analog data point tag. To do this, we right click on our work folder, select add new tag, followed by random, followed by random analog tag. We press return to accept the default name and we can check the tag status window to verify the tag is updating with random data. Let's say we want to store the value of the tag we just created historically. To do this in Fernhill SCADA, we make sure the tag is selected in the tag window. Then in the properties window, we set historic enable to true. And that's it. Once we set historic enable to true, the Fernhill SCADA historian will store samples for the data point tag. Now that historic storage is enabled, the context menu in the tag window for our random analog tag now provides additional options. These are a view trend option at the top and a show historic data option further down. If we click the show historic data option, we can see the first few historic records stored. The top of the list is the most recent record, the bottom of the list is the first record. If we press the F5 key, the list refreshes and displays the most recently stored records. Let's close the historic list and instead open a temporary trend from the data point tag. Now in Fernhill SCADA, a trend consists of a plot area showing the data and a pen area showing details of each trace. For a temporary trend, the x-axis interval is one hour and shows the most recent data and tracking mode is on, so as new data arrives, the trend updates to show the new data. You can use the mouse pointer to operate the trend. For example, moving the mouse wheel will zoom in. Moving the mouse wheel out will zoom out. Pressing a mouse button down and dragging pans the time axis. And a single click toggles the ruler, where the ruler value is shown in the trend key. If you right click on the pen area, you get the option to display the data for that pen. That's all for this video. For more detailed information, don't forget to check out the online help topics.